On that breaking news that we've been following out of Manchester this morning. Again, we have learned that the search for that missing two year old girl in Manchester is over and there's a happy ending to this story. We're told that she has been found safe and alive. She was found nearby in a yard nearby or in a house. We're not exactly sure, but it was in a, at a nearby home not too far from where she was. If you'll recall, uh, two year old Zoe Pena was reported missing around 330 this morning from her home on Mitchell Street there in Manchester, right near Califf Road. This is on the south side of the city. Uh, at that point, two adults in the house said they didn't know where she was. It looked like she had wandered away from that home overnight, somehow got out of that house. Of course, the concern being that it was about 18 degrees overnight and she was only wearing what uh, she went to bed with, which was a one piece sleep outfit. So there was concern about that. that we're expecting to hear from police in moments from now. But again, there is a, a fantastic ending to the story. We're hearing some very good news that two year old Zoe Pena, who had missing overnight from her home, there was a massive search for her over the last several hours. That has now come to an end. They did find her. She is OK. She was taken uh, to the uh, by an ambulance to Elliott Hospital uh, as a precaution in all this. We don't exactly know what her condition is at this point, but we hear that she is expected to be uh, OK after all this. Um, this was a massive search. A Manchester police, state police joined this. They had a helicopter up for several hours. They also had canine units there. People were being asked to stay inside their homes, in fact, and not help in the search, not to throw off those uh, dogs that were searching for this little girl. Again, she disappeared uh, overnight. Last her parents said she went to bed at about 930 last night, was in her crib in this one piece sleep outfit at some point overnight. She somehow it appears got out of this house on Mitchell Street there in Manchester and started to wander around. Uh, we're about to hear from police. Let's listen in. You guys ready? Yeah. First of all, I want to thank everyone involved in today's search, and that includes the Manchester Fire Department, New Hampshire State Police, New Hampshire Fish and Game, Merrimack Police Department, and more importantly, the men and women of the Manchester Police Department. As you guys are aware, sometime around 3.30 this morning, a child allegedly went missing from the home. Then around 5.30, it was called into us. Our officers responded. State police brought in their helicopter, did an extensive search for over an hour and a half. And fortunately, sometime around 9.15, 9.20 this morning, the child was located in a nearby home. I don't have any further details at this point in time, but I can tell you the child is safe. The child is currently being checked out at the hospital. And as this investigation unfolds, I hope to have more details sometime later in the day. And at this point in time, I'm going to end this, okay? So she Thank inside you. Inside, not outside. I'm all done. Not a lot of detail there. That was. Uh, Lieutenant O'Keefe there giving a very brief update on the situation, saying the investigation continues into this. But uh, as he just mentioned, around 915 this morning, uh, about a half hour ago, 40 minutes ago, a two year old Zoe Pena was found at a home uh, nearby near Mitchell Ave or in a nearby home, I should say, near Mitchell Avenue, right there where she disappeared from. She is safe. She's being checked out at a nearby hospital, Elliott Hospital, to make sure she's okay. But that's really the headline here. But he said the investigation continues. He wasn't answering any other questions about this in terms of how exactly she got out. Did she walk out the front door? There's been a lot of questions of how she was able to get out. But uh, again, Zoe Pena found safe. She's at a hospital being checked out. We'll continue to follow the story throughout the morning.